This is DTLT Today. I'm Jim Groom. And I'm Tim Owens. And uh, we are here today. Um, this is a little different look for yeah. us. We're in transition. I know, and I don't handle changes very well. And Tim is having some problems with the changes. <laughs> having some issues and this, here. And this episode but, may reflect that. Yeah. Um, we got the Wall do? of Fame behind us with the yeah. pictures. Uh, you might see uh, John Udall, even Alan uh, Levine on that wall, Brian Lamb. We got some classics. It is. Um, and speaking of classics, I think we have a classic on DTLT today. Today we do. The inventor, the one, the only of DS one hundred six radio, Grant Potter. What's up, Grant? Hey, 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 <laughs> people! Good to be here. Good to have you, Grant. That's uh, a long time watcher, first time caller. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you invented this radio station and this TV station in a lot of ways. So, uh, in fact, it's just like you're coming yeah. home. Yeah, I just basically plug stuff in and everybody else invented it. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of which, you're plugging some new stuff in right now. And, uh, you know, what we've been calling the party line, the PBX exchange, all that. Yeah. Can you kind of like run down the latest updates to DS1, DS106 Radio and what that might mean for us? Okay, so basically this is already up and running. I did some testing on uh, Friday, but there's only one piece left, and the performance works well. So what I need to do now is um, have it re-encode uh, re or stream actually in a, in a familiar format, meaning MP3. Because right now we could all dial into the party line, and it would stream in uh, Og Vorbis mm -hmm. or Og, Og. How do you pronounce that? O-G-G. -G. I assume it's Og. Yeah. O-G-G, Og. Og. Og, okay, yeah. So it it um it would it streams fine in that, and I've tested it on multiple different uh, devices, and I've got I've uh, through my own testing had it up to six seven, and it all uh, um, streams, and it seems to be working great. So, but the thing is, you know who uh you know who listens to Og formats, right? So, I mean, you'd have to basically tell everybody to use VLC or make sure you have your codec installed, which is a pain in the ass. It's the same reason why people don't use, you know, Theora probably, right. because it's because of support for it, but yeah, so that's where we're at. All I know, I'm using this um, software called EasyStream. I just got to get it configured on the IceCast server, uh, and then we're ready. We're streaming an MP3, which I should have sometime tomorrow, and by the end of tomorrow. And then I'm going to test it, make sure it streams an MP3, and then we're gold. We're party line. So let me ask you this, Tim. I'm going to jump in here. You, for someone who doesn't know right. any of the technicalities, what exactly is this, and how does it change DS? DS106 Radio right now, you can go in from your computer, you can... You can broadcast, broadcast from your cell phone. You can even do auto DJ, which runs automatically from the server. How is this different? Okay, so uh, right now, let's say, uh, for let's use Scott Lowe as an example. So Scott Lowe uh, plays some music, and he wants to uh, have people call in. He has to put on the, on Twitter or over the airway say, "Give me a call on Skype." My, you know, look for ID Scott Lowe Radio. He has to add them as a contact. Then he has to drag them into some sort of conference and then patch them through to the radio, right? Yeah. So with uh, with the with the P PBX, he when he connects to DS one hundred six radio, he plays his music through any kind of um, uh, VoIP-enabled app, and there's lots of free ones. So in, in, I'll, and you know, we'll get some uh, blog posts, and everybody will find their favorite you know, one they like to use. So basically, you, you play your music through your VoIP app uh, instead of NiceCast, and if somebody wants to you know, talk to you, they just simply open up their, if they have their mobile phone or whatever it is in their app configured, just simply just putting in a URL in the app and, and dial um, uh, a real quick setup, three lines of setup, very similar to uh, the way you set up um, uh, Papaya, and you just dial 106 and boom, you're in, and then you start hearing the music that Scott Lowe's playing in the background, and, and you can start talking. So you don't necessarily have to ask to be put on somebody's show. You can just appear on somebody's show. <laughs> so so and th I think that's going to lead to some sort of madness. So you know, you some that. sort of like DJ competitions. And, and more than that, more than just sort of talk radio and how it facilitates that, you could have uh, – you could co-DJ. So I'm going to play two songs and then when, they, when I hear the, your second song fading out, I can bring in my two songs. And then somebody else could come along, and you go to two and two or whatever. It's because you everybody can play music through their VoIP app. One thing I haven't 
done yet, though, is look at ways you can play music through your mobile VoIP app because of um, all mobile devices are different with their abilities to uh, um, uh, multitask. So let me ask you. But from your desktop or laptop, it's all good. Let me ask you this, Grant. How do you. If so, if Scott Lowe's playing from Japan and he doesn't have a VoIP enabled thing, he's doing it through Nicecast or Latiocast or whatever. So does that mean we can't break in? That means yes. I would, so what I, I you could configure it so that it would break in, but I don't think that's cool. And it's not in keeping with you know uh, the protocol has been established. Is that if somebody has a feed, you know, and they're using Nicecast, they're just going to have to wait until it's gone, and then they'll cut in with their VoIP. But like keeping keeping in mind, if they cut in with their VoIP application to play music, at any point somebody could dive bomb in and start talking over the top of their music, you know, or start talking with you, or start up this conversation. And, and the added experiment, like once I get this sorted this week, hopefully maybe even in, in Vancouver this weekend, I can get some stickers made of this one triple eight number, yes. and then so I'll in a sticker you know a community and I'll and get people just to call in and see what the hell happens. So that was what I was going to ask you because it's running on an asterisk block, so that's voice over IP, which you mentioned right. that you need to have an application, but you're saying that there's also going to be an eight 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 number. Right. Yeah. They, what you'll have to do in in a Asterix VoIP uh, server, you can create these things called trunks, and in these trunks, you can attach external numbers. So I'm a toll free number. So, but I, f- I figured out a way that you can get a toll free number to work, and after a certain after, and you can you basically charge it up with a certain amount of money, and the number uh, when that money's gone, the one triple eight number will just return saying, "Sorry, this number is not in service," or give you some sort of a message. Right. So you can't be taken to the bank on these one triple eight numbers let me ask you this that one triple eight number will work from like canada u.s mexico or all over continental u continental north america yeah (laughs) now here's the other here's the other thing so if you do that and you have that one eight hundred number we're going to make up stickers and you're saying put them up around there we could put them up wherever people are in the continental u.s wherever yeah so like i'm I, i see that as sort of like a artistic provocation in, in experimenting with you know radio is a very much a you know a public space yeah and and the idea even of access to radio you know through those means like through public pay phones for example is diminishing i mean how many public pay phones have you seen in the last year in your towns like none. Uh, you know you, you need to you, i mean it's rapidly diminishing so i'd like to so i'd like to whatever whatever they uh, whatever remains of the public t- uh, phone, I'd like to see how that might work with open web radio. Well, and Julia brings up a good point. This is one of the reasons that we're planning to have this massive telethon on Monday. And I, I'm not sure if you've caught some of the Twitter talk about it, but basically, you know, we're going to have a lot of these people here for the Bava, the Bava Stock 2011, the massive thing. Gina's going to be down here. Cog Dog's going to be down here. Yep. Uh, a few others. Um, and so we're going to have a ton of people down here, and it's a chance for us to basically come in here in the office and start broadcasting to the radio and accepting donations for this. Because you've basically been doing this out of your pocket, Grant. Yeah. And as much as we appreciate that, a lot of us really want to see this thing go big and, and do a lot more with it. And we certainly don't want it to be on your dime. So that's going to happen on Monday all through the day. And we're going to do it really cheesy, old school style. I think Andy might come in and his Oh, talks. Lord. Uh, we're going to have like Jerry, Lee, Jerry Lewis. I'm, exactly. I'm all over that who's going to be uh jerry lewis yeah andy of course <laughs> we'll have the ri- we'll have the ringing phones in the background people doing karaoke in the office it'll be it'll be massive yeah that's awesome it's, it's gonna be a beautiful and so thing. we'll talk to you about some details of that <laughs> offline oh my god man that'll be yeah, awesome because you have to be a critical part of that yeah <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm locked in. Yeah, we need a I'm performance. Gonna, I might even you. just take the I'll just take the day off work just so I can soak it in. <laughs> awesome. Hey, we know you have to get to class, but this is amazing, and I'm so cool. glad that it's going to actually kind of converge all around both you guys in Vancouver at the sanctuary and all of us here in Fredericksburg, uh, whooping it up for Vavastock. It couldn't happen at a better time. Well, it, yes, indeed, it's going to be. Uh, in a, you know, you got to keep the keep the lines open, listeners. Both your video and your radio. That's right. Yeah. It's going to be 
Really, uh, this will be the official release of the party line. Well, and what I love is it like this is almost like version 2.0 of this idea of DS106 radio. Absolutely. And as you know, the TV stuff came in right after the radio back in the spring. And so it was like we had this idea of the radio in the spring, and we had this idea of the TV in the spring with Justin TV. Yeah. Now we have something new we're going to be experimenting with on the radio. And we've got something new coming very soon on the, the TV, TV. That's right. Where basically we're throwing Justin TV out the window and saying that anybody with a web browser, no account or anything, can broadcast to the television. From anywhere. So that's going to be the next step for that. And so it's we're just crazy. We're looking for nudies if you have them. <laughs> <laughs> Bring on the nudies. Oh, dear. <laughs> so, but it's, it's exciting. Yeah, it's awesome. And Grant, you're awesome. Thanks for, sit thanks for coming on with us, talking about it. And we're looking forward to this weekend. Right on. You guys rule. Thanks for having me, and I will talk to you later. All right. Talk to you later. And later. And thanks, y'all, for watching. Um, you know, keep an eye out for us. This this yeah. week is going to be crazy. People are coming in Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah. Um, by Friday and into the following week, these broadcasts are going to get a lot kind more of, crowded. And end it <laughs> off with a big telethon. So this is yeah. a week, and it's interesting. We're kind of like diasporic this week. We don't have a home. The cuddle couch yeah. is in a new room. We're kind of uh, we're getting the kind of kit taken away for us for none other than Carl Rove, who's coming to campus. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> Bush stole our money and Carl Rove stole our camera. Unbelievable. Um, so, but yeah, but we'll find a way around it. And uh, you know, we don't die; we just multiply. Yeah. Never forget. We That's will right. remember. All right. So thanks for watching. <laughs> All right. We'll see y'all later. Take care.